Hey there, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another brand new episode. And today we're gonna create a very, very, very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop. And if you wanna get this PST file, it's available on my Patreon. And if you're interested for my one-on-one -on -one session, then please do contact through my Patreon. There are all the details are available there. So yep, there are tons, there are tons to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. Here we go, we're in Photoshop and let's create a artboard first and for that press Ctrl and N or you can just go to File, New and then let's go for 4x5, let's keep the resolution as 200, color mode to RGB, let's keep the bitrate at 8 and let's keep everything as default and let's click and Create. This is what we have and I already created some image cutouts. And let's start with the background first. So let's drag and drop this image right over here and press, let's convert it as a smart object. Press Ctrl and T. Let's make it a little smaller, maybe somewhere around this size. And now let's create these parts using generative fill. So let's select this part. Let's click on generative fill and let's click on generate and let's see what it comes up with and i guess this looks pretty good let's keep it like that and the same way let's create the bottom part let's make a selection let's click on generative fill let's click on generate and let's see let's drag and drop our first image cutout so let's drag and drop this right over here and press ctrl and t and before that, let's convert this as a smart object. Let's make it a little smaller, somewhere around this size. And let's keep it right over here. And again, let's keep it maybe somewhere around here. And let's make a rough selection right over here. And let's add a racing track. So let's start racing DRSK track. and i think you know what like i like uh, this one but still let's just click some more variation so far i like this one but let's see you know like i guess like i like this one better so let's keep it like that for now and uh, let's take another uh, image cutout so let's see let's drag and drop this image right over here let's keep it under this layer you know what like let's see i will think i will yeah i think let's go with this one yeah let, let's keep it with this one i think i like this one better so let's go with this one and uh, let's drag and drop our another image so let's drag and drop this image right over here and again let's convert it as a smart object let's keep it under this layer press ctrl and t let's flip it on the other side and let's make it a little bigger somewhere around this size all right now let's drag this image right over here and let's keep it somewhere around here and uh, let's create a layer max go to brush and let's erase this part just like so and again let's do the same thing let's keep it inside a group let's rename it as image 01 let's create a layer max and again let's edit some of these parts just like so here we go and let's keep it inside a group let's rename it as image 02 
so this is what we got so far so here we go uh, let's create a new layer in between and i'm going to use brass and i'm going to use this one and uh, let's go with kind of white color and let's add a separation in between here we go and let's go on very bottom let's create a one more layer and let's go for kind of off white something like this color and let's add something like that and now let's add a solid on very top let's go for kind of darker color something like this and let's change the blending mode to multiply let's make it a little bit brighter maybe yeah let's go for something like this color and again click on that layer max go to brush and again using the same brush let's go for a black color and let's erase some of these parts just like so and again from here too and let's go let's make it a little brighter i guess yep something like that let's make a one more copy Control j and again let's add few strokes here and there just like so and let's add a one more solid and let's give it a kind of darker blue color let's change the blending mode to multiply and again click on that layer max let's use these parts here we go and let's go on very top add a look up and from here click on load and i'm going to use this windy aqua lut so if you want to check this lot file please check in the description list below so click on that and click on load so this is what we got and let's change the color to maybe something darker here we go and let's create an layer max let's remove these parts a little bit just like that and maybe from here let's remove some of these parts and let's add one right over here just like so and let's do some color adjustment so select this layer go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's increase the clarity let's increase the texture let's drop down the highlights and let's increase the shadows just like so and maybe a for the saturation for orange and let's drop down the saturation for orange and let's drop down for red too something like this and let's go over here let's increase the exposure just a little bit somewhere around here and let's click and okay and let's do the same thing for this one filter let's apply same camera raw filter let's do the same thing for this one filter camera raw filter apply previous setting and let's do the same thing for this small top portion there you go filter let's apply same camera raw filter all right go let's drop down the opacity just a little bit and maybe let's add a curve on very top let's increase the shadows just like that 
maybe let's drop down the highlights just a little bit here we go and let's add few text And for a final touch up, let's add a grain on very top. So let's drag and drop this texture on very top. Let's increase the size. Let's keep it like that and let's change the blending mode to screen. And let's drop down the opacity to maybe around like 15, 20. Let's keep it like that. Okay, let's keep it around. Yep, let's keep it like that and yep, that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Till then you guys take care, be safe and be creative. Bye-bye.